The Rock Metal Podcast, episode 73 with Glasswing. All right, Rock Metal Nation, what is up? This is John from the Rock Metal Podcast. That sample you just heard was Chorus Gate by Glasswing, who I've got on the show with me right now. They're a progressive rock band from Erie, Pennsylvania, USA, and we're going to be listening to that song as well as one other while finding out more information about the band. Ryan, welcome to the show. Hey, man. Thanks for having me, dude. Absolutely. You know, I know we chatted about this in the pre-roll. Um, but every, in the middle of me saying Erie, Pennsylvania is about to do that thing from that thing you do where he's like, Erie, PA. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Did a guy in a van with a camper and chili um, talk to you guys yet about your stuff? You know, I don't think so. Uh, I saw him driving off the road, but he, he didn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> cool stuff. All right. For, for Rock Metal Nation, kind of lost right now. Go look up the movie with Tom Hanks, That Thing You Do, and then everything will just make sense. And besides, you'll enjoy quality programming from Tom Hanks for the next 90 minutes or so. Oh, yeah. You can't go wrong with Tom Hanks. Mm -hmm. Everything that guy says is a stitch. <laughs> All right, let's go and listen to that track, Chorus Gate.
right, coming back from the track, what is the story or inspiration behind Coruscate? Uh, in our band, uh, Kyle, he's our vocalist. He does all the writing for the lyrics. Um, and I, I guess I'll start from the, the musical side of, of the song. Um, we had just sort of had a lineup change around when we wrote this this track and um, with me coming in on drums. And, and we just wanted a song that sort of kind of just held it down and it was just a straightforward rock song. Um, nothing too crazy in that song. There's like a bridge that's in like seven, eight. Um, we try not to make it sound so weird, but um, I guess that was the whole musical side of it. And um, yeah, I, th- I think Corsica as a whole though, is just kind of written. Um, I don't know, just uh, <laughs> I guess rebellion or um, the, the whole album that, that these songs are on is, is this big concept album about, um, history repeating itself with cycles and, um, Kyle's got lyrics like, when you see my way, like we found the truth and threw it away, um, in the chorus. And, um, I think he's just anthemically sort of rebelling. I'm just glad you use the large word anthemically. That's fantastic. Yeah. I actually got, <laughs> I actually got excited there. Now you, you mentioned, um, that there's a bridge in seven, eight, and that it's a concept album about history repeating itself. So that honestly brings a couple of next questions to mind is, uh, for example, you said mentioned a bridge in seven, eight is, is that unique about the writing process that you guys have? Or is there anything in general that might be unique about when you guys got together to write and coruscate? Unique in that. I, I don't think those guys were doing any of that stuff before, um, I'm not trying to make it sound like I came in and totally changed the band, but um, I, I think <laughs> I think you did. They they had other drummers that I think were more metal oriented, and uh, I don't think that that's what they truly wanted to do. But they just sort of made it work with what they had. But uh, once they got a guy in that just wanted to do straight rock music, or like prog rock, um, we sort of just dove in that direction. Um, but I mean, even when we do odd time and everything. I guess a thing for us is, is we try not to make it seem odd. Um, you know, a lot of bands, they'll, they'll do odd time and they'll make it sound complicated on purpose or maybe accidentally they just aren't able to make it groove or anything like that. But we at least try to, you know, keep some cohesive beat and, and groove to even odd time and take a lot of fun in doing that. So um, yeah, I guess that, that sort of changed at that point. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's a really cool thing because for example, when I think of a lot of, uh, traditional, I don't even know call it traditional, traditional prog rock, I guess to me is like, yes. And Genesis and rush. Um, but I guess going further into like the Spock's beard dream theater realm that, uh, I guess nineties, early two thousands prog rock, I think of sections that just all of a sudden break into circus theme music. And it's just kind of like, well, I guess it's cool. You guys can do that, but Musically, if you could get white girls to dance to seven eight, I think you're gonna be onto something. <laughs> we actually played a show once and we had the audience clapping, like they were clapping along. And it's in four right before that. And as soon as it hit the seven, everyone got lost. <laughs> <laughs> so I think like you know, when it's there and they don't try to listen to it in that sense, you didn't you just bob your head to it and it just works. Yeah. Um, we, we squeeze a little bar in nine to get it to go right back into the four like super smoothly, but um yeah. If, if you actually sit down and go for it, you'll be like, oh, yeah, it was in seven. It was kind of weird. But. <laughs> awesome stuff. Now, obviously, it's a very unique name. What about what brought about the name of the track? You know, I think it's just the whole prog thing. <laughs> just what's the craziest name we can come up with? Uh, I, I know it's actually in the lyrics. I interpret it as sort of his rebellion and it's, you know, his, his flash or, or spark of that. All right, cool. So let's go and listen to the next track, Astrophy.
Okay, come back from Astrophy. Same question for you, Ryan. What is the story or inspiration behind Astrophy? One way to, I guess, describe Astrophy, we were playing a show once and, and Kyle said to the crowd, it's like, this next song is it's called Astrophy and it's about the death of passion. He wrote the song when he was going through some, some pretty hard stuff and um, it's very introspective for him. And this, again, was another song that was written around the time that I joined the band. And same idea of, of just wanting to have something. I, I think a lot of prog bands, it's, it, it's cool to sort of take a step back, at least we think, and, and try to write a song that's a bit more straightforward. You know, we, we have a song on the album that is, you know, a big 20 minute epic and goes through different movements and everything like that. But we think it's a good balance to sort of have the bite sized portions as well as the big pieces. And this was just written as another, another piece of that where the complexity of the song isn't so much in the arrangement or the individual parts, but sort of in the uh, harmonic structure with some of the, the chords and in the, in the verses, I believe the guitar players are going sort of in and out between major minor, even augmented and diminished chords at times. Um, and it's, it's kind of subtle as well as from a drumming side, there's just a lot of subtle changes that happen throughout the song where I'll repeat similar themes and things like that. And my drum fills and, the way that the beat modulates between the verse and into the choruses, um, changing some of the different uh, voices, like first chorus being on the, the bow of the ride and then second chorus being on the bell, doing sort of like a Stuart Copeland influenced kind of pattern. But yeah, that's that's what we were aiming for with that song more so than any other kind of complexity. That's how it came together. Now, what exciting news do you guys have coming up for Rock Metal Nation to pay attention to? Uh, we just put out our first album, this summer and we did a small little run for that but we are already in the works uh, we have another album already written and we're starting to we already just did some demoing uh, drum demoing for the whole album is already done the rest of the stuff is going to come together within the next month or so and once that's all done then we have some time to sit with it and sort of finalize and polish the material and then we're looking to record our next album in early january and then do another release uh, hopefully by summer of 2018. So yeah, keep an eye out for singles and 
even another album drop here within the next year or so. All right, fantastic. So Rock Metal Nation, if you dug the two tracks you heard today, then you're definitely going to dig what they've got cooking up next. They've actually already started recording and working on another album with the drum demos done. So just going to take a little bit of spit and polish, as they say, to turn that into a beautiful final release. So we're looking at, what was you saying, two... Uh, dropped the album in summer of 2018, was doing the actual final recording in January. Is that correct? Yep. All right, fantastic. So, Rock Ventilation, the next logical question on everybody's mind is, how can we find out more about you? Is there a website that we should go to? Uh, yeah, uh, we actually have our own website. Um, it's glasswing.band. And uh, we can also be found on social media, um, Twitter, uh, Facebook. Um, you can also download our first album for free on our Bandcamp. Uh, that's glasswing814.bandcamp.com. Uh, go ahead, check it out. Um, album's totally free. Download it. Enjoy it. We hope you guys dig it. All right, cool stuff. So Rock Metal Nation, go ahead head over to glasswing.band where you can find out everything that you need to know about Glasswing. You can also find them on Twitter and Facebook. And if you really, 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 really dug what you heard today, you can go ahead and download everything for free at glasswing814.bandcamp.com. And that link will also be available in today's show notes. All right, so Ryan, unless there's anything else you wanted to throw out there, I just wanted to thank you for taking time out of your day to come on to the Rock Metal Podcast and sharing your creativity with Rock Metal Nation. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh, Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for having us. All right. Rock Metal Nation, hopefully you just found your new favorite band in Glasswing. Big thanks again to them for coming on and sharing their music with us. Make sure to head over to www.therockmetalpodcast.ca to get all the information on the show you just heard today. And until then, rock on, Rock Metal Nation.